Hello everyone and welcome to another video, my name is Lance and today we're going to take a look at some cut content from Bloodborne. And for this we're going to be spending some time at Castle Kanehurst to talk about Annalise, the Queen of the Vilebloods. So when we first arrive in the Queen's chambers and approach Annalise, she greets us with a fairly standoffish attitude. Visitor, I claim no subjects, but here lieth our throne. Kneel afore us, or get thee gone. She demands we kneel when speaking to her, and if addressed directly, becomes reasonably offended. Such impudence. Defiled are we, yet still queen. We shall not give audience to an ill-mannered beast. Visitor. Moon-scented hunter. I am Annalise, queen of Castle Kanehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the vile bloods and sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered, and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? And when kneeling, we get some choices on how to proceed with our relationship going forward. Well, well. Annalise's storyline continues on from here across one of the longer quest lines in Bloodborne, but in a much earlier version of the game, she was a dramatically different character. Thankfully for us, the developers not only left behind an entirely unused set of speech files for this older iteration, but by further splicing in removed files taken from the alpha version of Bloodborne that control her conversation flow, I was able to restore her back to this unseen state. With that done, let's take a look at how she speaks to us now. Is someone there? Well, whoever you are, it matters not. I will not die. Tarnished as I am, you came here for naught. Be off with you. That first line was a little hard to hear as we approached, so let's fix the camera right next to her and hear it one more time. Is someone there? Well, whoever you are, it matters not. I will not die. Tarnished as I am, you came here for naught. Be off with you. You've likely noticed at this point that she has an entirely different voice actress in this iteration. Cease this. I am queen of the vile bloods. The healing church binds our tongues. Now off with you. You are a peculiar one. You've nothing to gain by speaking with me. Well, if you truly do not fear the healing church, Tell me of your thoughts, your desires. The prompt here reads, what will you do? And the choices are contract or cooperation. Let's try contract first. I, I am afraid that I cannot do, please. I don't wish to lose anyone else, but thank you. It was a kind offer. My ancestors smile. I can help with other things, only no contracts, anything that you wish, anything at all. After this, she will simply repeat these next few lines each time we speak to her and nothing further. You are welcome here. What do you require? I am pleased to oblige. You are welcome here. What do you require? I am pleased to oblige. As we walk away, she doesn't say anything to us. However, if we attack her, we can prompt a little more dialogue. Oh dear me, have I offended you? I am undead. There is nothing you can do to hurt me. They failed, and so will you. And now after attacking her, when leaving, she has more to say. I see. Now you must go. A blessing upon you, and your heartfelt kindness. It's very interesting that in this early iteration, she in fact shares a voice actress with the doll, and also with Maria. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute, but let's just explore the last of her dialogue choices first. Is someone there? 
Well, whoever you are, it matters not. I will not die. Tarnished as I am, you came here for naught. Be off with you. Cease this. I am queen of the vile bloods. The healing church binds our tongues. Now off with you. You are a peculiar one. You've nothing to gain by speaking with me. Well, if you truly do not fear the healing church, tell me of your thoughts, your desires. And so here we'll choose cooperation. Very well. You are kind to me. You are a friend. I will help you however I can. You are welcome here. What do you require? I am pleased to oblige. Unfortunately, this still ends with the same repeated dialogue, and the only way to prompt anything further is to once again attack her and then leave. Oh dear me, have I offended you? I am undead. There is nothing you can do to hurt me. They failed. And so will you. I see. Now you must go. A blessing upon you, and your heartfelt kindness. So although there's not a huge amount of depth to this older iteration of the Queen of the Vilebloods, when considered in conjunction with the fact that she originally shared the same voice actress with the doll in the Hunter's Dream... Hello, good hunter. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. And also with Maria of the Astral Clock Tower, the woman upon whom the doll was based. A corpse should be left well alone. Things become a little more interesting because we're likely seeing the last remnants of a family resemblance between all three of these characters. For starters, Maria's outfit specifically mentions that it was crafted in Kanehurst. When we travel to the old abandoned workshop, we find this is where the original doll still exists. And also found here is an umbilical cord item. According to the description on this item, this was used to summon the moon presence and create the hunter's dream. However, if you come here and collect this item in the American version of Bloodborne without the day one patch installed, the description of this item is dramatically different, mentioning instead that this umbilical cord originated in the Child of the Vile Bloods. Much like the original version of the Queen of the Vile Bloods we met today, this too was meant to be removed before release, and this small oversight was fixed with a patch before the game hit shelves. There's a lot to assume based on these little bits of information, but let's just leave it at that before this turns into a lore analysis. So this has been something I had hoped to restore back into the game for quite a while, and I hope you managed to find it a little interesting, especially given the context of it all. If you did manage to enjoy this video, feel free to let me know by hitting the like button, or maybe even leaving a friendly comment below. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to keep up with my work here. You can find more ways to follow and support my work in the description, and either way, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Is someone there? Well. Whoever you are, it matters not. I will not die. Tarnished as I am, you came here for naught. Be off with you. I see. Now you must go. A blessing upon you, and your heartfelt kindness.